thanks for staying up late with us. Acomo High School senior wants answers after he was declared ineligible to play football. He transferred this year from Lafayette High School. Under LHSAA rules, if a player transfers, they have to sit out a year unless the move was out of the student's control. But this student chose to transfer, and it's why that he says an exception ought to be made. Justice Henderson explains in our top story. And I hear it a lot around people, and I don't like a lot of people use it around me. It's like, it makes me feel weird when somebody uses it, like, why, would I, why, why are we letting them say it? Naroko Jones says his time on the Lafayette High School football team last year wasn't pleasant. He and his father Jerry say the coaches used racial slurs, so much that he told his parents. In get your butt on the field, in you slacking, in you tripping, in like that. I mean, it's... It's a slang now that a lot of people, youngsters use, but that's not what's supposed to be taught to us. The Lafayette Parish School System says they acknowledged the issue and the isolated incident was resolved. The district was notified of an incident that took place last school year where uh, we, we had to look into some cases where a coach was using the N-word, which, you know, frankly, that's totally unacceptable anytime, any place, and in any context. I reached out to the principal. Uh, Again, this took place last year. The principal investigated the allegation. It appears that it did happen in an isolated setting. Again, not appropriate at all. And at that point last year, the principal took appropriate disciplinary action. Still, later in the year, the incident led to an argument in which Jerry Jones hit a coach, leading to Jones's arrest. He raised his hand, like in a motion. I asked him not to do it, He not to move your hand, not to talk to me like that. And when he moved his hand, I went to slap his hand down. Now, did I brace his face or slap his face? I mean, it was an emotional event at the time. Jones's new principal filed for a hardship grievance on his behalf, but the LHSAA denied it. The principal then filed multiple appeals. All of them were denied. We reached out to the LHSAA, but our calls have not been answered. What's taking place with this one here, this kid stood up, in a sense, to the bullying with the help of his parents by coming to us and telling us what's wrong, and he's the ones being punished. But if you don't say anything, nothing will happen. I mean, if, if I just stay over there and just said something to him, it even made me more mad because of the consequences I done went through. So instead of me getting mad, that mad, I could have just came back and told him. Now, Jones is left to wonder what he could have been doing during his senior year. In Lafayette, Justice Henderson, KTC TV3. Here's Daniel.